This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so Sexy Red copies Gucci Man and gets an ice cream tattoo on her face. You got to be kidding, bro. This has got to be a joke. This has got to be a temporary henna tattoo because even Gucci Man himself has admitted, admitted to regretting this. He said in an interview, he said, hey, I wasn't in a healthy place when I did. So does this mean that Sexy Red is just ratchet? Or does it mean that maybe she's not in the healthiest of places right now? I mean, you just destroyed your face. But, you know, it's Sexy Red, you know. It is what it is, but it's like she's doing the most for attention. It's pretty sad. I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's pretty sad. Um, I think this is where he says it right here. I think I would, I want to take credit for starting the trend, but I think I definitely made people think there was something cool to do. Mm. But. And she did it anyway, so you know. Gucci Man did repost it though, because it's clout. Mm. But I was going through something when I did it, you know what I'm saying? That's it. So he, yeah, in a way, you know, he could say he doesn't, he, he, he regrets it. <laughs> he definitely regrets it. All right, so next up we got Big Sean releases his album finally after crying, soy milk, doing the most, saying he was, I'm not going to do what they want me to do and do everything with these influencers and did exactly that. Next next thing you'll see is him on an interview tour, um, which is fine. It's just that just don't tell us you're not going to do that stuff and then do it. Um, I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to check it out. I like Big Sean's music. You know, like, I, I just... He, he's a little bit too much with the... He's too extra with the emotions and guilt-tripping people. And then all of a sudden, he's a gangster. Yo, I'm from Detroit, man. We don't play like that, man. Yo, bro, you... you the, uh, there's soft people everywhere. I'm not saying Detroit's far... Detroit's a tougher city to grow up in, period. But... We don't know how Big Sean grew up. I like Big Sean's music though, so I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to hate on him or anything. It's just like sometimes he's just a little too extra, you know. When really, bro, you're good. You're a good rapper, you know. Like, let the music speak for itself, bro. Put out some videos. He he put out two. Um, he's embracing fatherhood. Yeah, that's maturity, you know course he did another he's done like four episodes with this influencer in particular jordan stallion which is like you know he's like uh i don't know i like i like jordan's content because it's like he gives out recipes he reacts to like weird stuff on the internet he's, he's funny uh missy elliott big win in her case some writer that she kind of used to collab with in the 90s tried to say he wrote one of Aaliyah songs with Missy Elliott and he deserves more credit and cash. And he didn't bring this case forward until 2018, over 20 years after Aaliyah passed. Uh, the judge threw this out saying, why didn't you bring it up like within three years of the song being out? Exactly. 5 year foreign posts his friend doing drugs on the internet. Uh, gets immediately uh backlash for it he says we watch stuff every day in documentaries don't get mad at me i ain't glorifying that maybe this will open your eyes to why we rap the way we do why because you could get up and, and and then give in to the the drugs you know it's like just get up off your butt and help uh and help clean i'm really one of the people who help what is the intervention where you're going to just embarrass your friends until they stop? I mean, he probably does it with them. I don't know. And then lastly, we got Johnny Dang. We saw him go at Sauce Walker the other day because Sauce Walker got a grill with somebody else and spent a million dollars when he only spent 100000 for his grill with Johnny Dang. Johnny Dang was mad. Very angry. So he... Uh, he talked about this and then sauce walker now has responded in a video to johnny dang oh, here we go 
bitch crying. I really never even see it. You spit me? I did. I took the old shit out and I was put in the new vibe. I'm about to compliment my teeth. Thank you. I appreciate you. I f with you. you know what I'm talking about? You know, there's no flares. We just. <laughs> Yo, he just keeps showing off how bright the teeth are. <laughs> He's almost like rubbing it in Johnny Dang's face. See? He just keeps showing this. <laughs> keeps going like <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, that's all he does. I guess that's his response. <laughs> it's funny because I always had a big smile. This is perfect. I love my teeth. Ho! Ho! Alright. Let's go, Vinny. Yeah, that's how you that's how you shut the earth down like that. You know what I'm saying? It's ain't it amazing how I just got the world in my hands like that. Like I could just say something, make an idea like I know I'm finna make the whole world stop and talk about this right here, cause that's what I wanna do for myself. It's not the whole world, but that's an amazing power. Like I make the whole world listen to something in twenty seconds. If we really wanna keep it gangster. I really just crying. I really never even see it. You spit me? I did. I took the old shit out and I was put in the new vibe. <laughs> He's gonna regret this one day. Them teeth are gonna be rotten underneath. Them little stubs he's got left. But people will say, oh no, you'll just put in uh, the, the veneer teeth. There's nothing like real teeth, man. <laughs> Sorry. To have some porcelain tile on your teeth. Yo, I got this porcelain tile. You might as well go back to the back in the days when they had to have wood dentures. Ah, uh, the local the local woodsmith is working on my dentures. Going to be oak, oak in my mouth, and he's going to stain it. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, Jordan, this is Jordan Tower, 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 Tower,